All right, thanks for joining us. We're going to start with our feed from Eric Whitehill as he is tracking a, a rotating wall cloud. This is a storm that moved through the Fargo area, producing huge hail, crop damage, and we'll have more on the damage from that storm, and we're keeping our eyes on it. What's a wall cloud? It's a lowering of the cloud base, and that's where most tornadoes come from if they are. So we're going to watch it for you. We'll let you know right now it's a severe thunderstorm warning from that storm. Headache, hail. Goodness gracious, great golf balls of hail. Look at that, Mapleton area. Megan, thanks so much for sharing your photo and all of you. Tree damage from the wind from these storms. Tim captured that in the Mayville area as well. And that's the same storm that's making its way now across the Sabin and Downer areas heading into Lakes Country. Notice that the uh, effective weather is pretty much wrapped up in eastern North Dakota. That's a trend we'll see. We do have some strong thunderstorms heading towards you in Badger, Roseau, War Road, and the lake area there as we head into the evening hour. Speaking of lakes, the Southern Valley, there is a warning for the FM area, but our risk for severe weather is all but kaput right now. It's heading off towards the Detroit Lakes area, southern and western parts of Barnes County, or excuse me, Becker County, south of Holly, where you see the pink. This is exactly where Eric Whitehill is. He's keeping his eyes on this storm. There is the hail core with it. It's off to the east, about three miles to the east and north of Barnesville, crossing Highway 32. It is heading in the general direction of you folks in Pelican Rapids. That storm will be working its way near you by around 540. So prepare for very large hail from this storm. The backward C shape indicates the potential for locally very strong wind from the storm in excess of 60 mile per hour gusts. And Rolla, it's right on your doorstep right now. So well, there's going to unfortunately be some crop damage. Here's the rotation that we're talking about. We're seeing it's not particularly strong, but it remains there. Severe thunderstorms can and sometimes do produce tornadoes, and we'll let you know if anything develops there. South of Fargo. What? Okay, thank you, Summer. Uh, we do have a tornado warning in Polk County, so uh, just let the control room know. We'll go uh, just uh, get to that one here right now. Polk County right here. This one has this little bean shape. Fertile, Beltrami, uh, outside of Beltrami, north of Fertile right now on Highway 2. This little shape here that you're seeing uh, on Highway 102, that is the one that's prompting the tornado warning. I don't even think it's showing up on this computer screen yet. Let me get it. There it is. Tornado warning until 6 o'clock. For this storm here, it is going to pass very close to fertile. It'll be on the north side of town here. Uh, it's off to the east of you folks in Beltrami. It's moving southeast at about 25 miles per hour. So if you're in the path of this storm, mainly in rural parts of southern and central parts of Polk County, it looks like it'll stay south of the Erskine area. But fertile, you're right in the path of this uh, tornado worn storm. Seek shelter in an interior room there in south central Polk County. Get to the lowest floor possible and make sure you put as many walls between you and the storm as possible. Kids, if you're home alone, the parents aren't home yet, it's okay. Again, lowest floor possible of a sturdy structure. Please get out of things like mobile homes, manufactured homes, and seek shelter in something more substantial. This is a radar indicated tornado. It does not mean that we have one observed on the ground yet, but the Doppler radar showing some signs of shear that certainly had that hook echo shape, that rotation showing up right here uh, on the radar as it's moving across Highway 32 in areas just north of Fertile heading into that area right now. So an active tornado warning there to your south in Norman County and also in the Clay County area. Severe thunderstorm working its way to the east southeast at 30 miles per hour capable of one inch diameter hail. Tornado warning for fertile. That will be something we'll track throughout the uh, process of our show here. Also some huge hail potential crossing Highway 32 right now, heading toward the Highway 59 corridor. As we go through, there is a better look at the rotation and spin with that particular cell crossing over the highway at this time. So as we head into the evening hours, the risk of severe weather is heading to the east of the Red River Valley. We'll continue to track that. You're looking off to the east of Moorhead tree damage from our storms tonight as well.
Here's the all important forecast. The rest of the evening in eastern North Dakota looks quiet. Storms will continue to track eastward. After about 7 to 8 o'clock, they will be exiting most of our viewing area, and it looks like a quiet overnight. Temperatures will sneak down. We'll be in the 60 degree range to start out your Friday morning. Heading through the day, we'll see temperatures kiss 80 degrees. Not too hot. Passing sprinkles, but not expected to be severe. Then. Heading into the evening hours, we are expecting a passing shower or two. Nothing like tonight. Your planner for Fargo. Temperatures around 80 degrees. The risk of storms pretty low, but we might see a sprinkle out of those clouds passing overhead. Shelby, thanks for your photo from the Red River Valley Fair. Shelby, our weekend weather forecaster here at Valley News Live. Your planning forecast looks like this. 70s for the weekend and breezy. Uh, looks like we could see some warmer weather through the middle of next week, but storms will cool us a pinch, then hot for the upcoming weekend after that. Tornado warning, Polk County, please seek shelter. Heed the warnings. Mm -hmm. We'll have an update right here in just a few moments. Yeah, we'll check in with you in just a minute. Thanks, Hutch. Coming up, we'll have a look at how controlled burns may reduce dangerous exposure to wildfire smoke.